Hi and welcome back. We're in Ezekiel today. And Ezekiel is a prophet, much like Jeremiah was. And when Jeremiah was uh, sharing the message of God, the word of God to the people in Jerusalem, Ezekiel was a prophet doing the same thing in Babylon. Um, so God was still taking care of his people, even though they had been taken my, hundreds of miles away from Jerusalem. Um, he made sure to get his word to the right ears to be the right messenger of God, Prophet Ezekiel. So let's go ahead and let me look at this real quick and I'll tell you before I start. Yes, we will read um, one and two, okay? <clears throat> before we start, let me um, open up in a prayer of thanks. Heavenly Father, thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for this time with you. I ask that you bless this time in your word that we receive a message. Calm our hearts and our minds so that we're able to understand, receive, and one day share. Father God, whatever's <clears throat> troubling the listener, I pray that they're able to lift it up to you and in faith believe that all will be well. And I pray that it is so, Lord, that your hand is in our situation and that you take care of us as those who believe in you, Father. I pray for those that are struggling right now, overseas in the battlefield, overseas living in a different country, I pray for those helpers, the food that just was left in Gaza, but I do pray for peace, Father God. May, they, may there be more compassionate people and generosity, helpers, Lord, to get us through these hard times. And may we always put you first, Lord. I thank you and I praise you. Amen. I really didn't think about what I was going to say. <laughs> so that was just a prayer off the, the cuff. I didn't, I wasn't thinking. Um, I was just skimming Ezekiel. So let's jump into chapter one. Ezekiel's vision of God. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month. Yeah, that's right. 30th year in the fourth month on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river Chabar or Kabar, that the heavens were open and I saw visions of God. On the fifth day of the month, which was in the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kibar. And the hand of the Lord was upon him there. Then I looked and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north, a great cloud with a raging fire engulfing itself and brightness was all around it and radiating out of its midst like the color of amber out of the midst of the fire. Also from within it came the likeness of four living creatures and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man each one had four faces and each one had four wings. Their legs were straight and the soles of their feet were like the soles of calves feet. They sparkled like the color of burnished bronze. The hands of a man were under their wings on their four sides and each of the four had faces and wings. Their wings touched one another. The creatures did not turn when they went, but each one went straight forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. As for the likeness of their faces, each had the face of a man. Each of the four had the face of a lion on the right side. Each of the four had the face of an ox on the left side. And each of the four had the face of an eagle. So that's an ox, a lion, and a man. each of the four had the face of a lion on the right side. Each of the four had the face of an ox on the left side. And each of the four had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces, their wings stretched upward, two wings of each one touched one another and two covered their bodies. And each one went straight forward. They went wherever the spirit wanted to go and they did not turn away when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches going back and forth among the living creatures. The fire was bright and out of fire went lightning and the living creatures ran back and forth in appearance like a flash of lightning. Now, as I looked at the living creatures, behold, a wheel was on the earth beside each living creature with its four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their workings was like the color of barrel. And all four had the same likeness. The appearance of their workings was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they moved, they went toward any one of four, of four directions. They did not turn aside when they went. As for their rims, they were so high, they were awesome. And their rims were full of eyes 
all around the four of them. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Wherever the spirit wanted to go, they went because there the spirit went and the wheels were lifted together with them for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When those went, these went. When those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up together with them for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. The likeness of the firmament above the heads of the living creatures was the color of an awesome crystal stretched out over their heads. And under the firmament, their wings spread out straight, one toward another. Each one had two which covered one side, and each one had two which covered the other side of a body. When they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of many waters, the voice of the Almighty, a tumult, like the noise of an army. And when they stood still, they let down their wings. A voice came from above the firmament that was over their heads whenever they stood. They let down their wings. And above the firmament over their heads was the likeness of a throne in appearance like a sapphire stone on the likeness of the throne was the likeness with the appearance of a man above it. Also from the appearance of his waist and upward I saw as it were the color of amber with the appearance of fire all around within it. And from the appearance of his waist and downward I saw as it were the appearance of fire with brightness all around like the appearance of a rainbow in a cloud in a rainy day. So was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. The firmament, I remember it to mean um, heaven. So the same word is used in Genesis. It means expanse or platform. So it, not necessarily heaven, but the separation of it is this, the sky. It just says it's it's an expansion of and it's a platform. But there, these four creatures are. And um, there is, uh, they see a vision of a man in the firmament also. And um, there's more to that. Again, I'm not a teacher, so I don't want to mess us up. I just want to read. Um, if I understand, I'll share. If I don't, I'll leave it, look it up, and maybe mention it in our uh, later reading. Okay, so chapter 2. Ezekiel sent to rebellious Israel. So when I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard the voice of one speaking. And he said to me, Son of man, stand on your feet, and I will speak to you. Then the Spirit entered me when he spoke to me, and set me on my feet, and I heard him who spoke to me. And he said to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their fathers has, have transgressed against me to this very day, for they are impudent and stubborn children. I am sending you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, as for them, whether they hear or whether they refuse, for they are a rebellious house, yet they will know that the prophet has been among them. So he's a priest, and now God is calling him a prophet. And you, son of man, do not be afraid of them, nor be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns are with you, and you dwell among scorpions, do not be afraid of their words or dismayed by their looks. Though they are a rebellious house, you shall speak my words to them, whether they hear or whether they refuse, or they are rebellious, but you, son of man, hear what I say to you. Do not be rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. Now when I looked, there was a hand stretched out to me, and behold, a scroll of, of a book was in it. Then he spread it before me, and there was writing on the inside, on the outside, and written on it were the lamentations and mourning and woe, the prayers. Lamentations. So this is um, God calling Ezekiel. In his, in his awesomeness, he's doing this and he's giving them a warning because, he, remember, he's sending them to Babylon where they have been taken captive. They were taken from Jerusalem. They were um, taken to Babylon and they lived there as slaves. And not that they lost God's favor over them. They turned away just because that's how the time passed. They started worshiping the gods of, of, of the land of Babylon. They... Uh, they got accustomed to their ways. So they turn away from God. They fell away. So here he's telling them that they, he will be amongst these rebellious people, these people that are living in, in iniquity. And even though they are the chosen, the Israelites, they still are not living in accordance. But because of his love, he sends a messenger. And remember in chapter 1, I said 30th year. It's a long time. And I can see where a lot of customs, cultures, traditions, vows, 
would be lost from decade to decade because the as the parent that actually went through the exodus as the parent that actually went to the taking captive of jerusalem and traveled like made that um trip all the way to babylon and experienced these things once they died if they didn't share it then the people wouldn't know what they have lived through what their people have gone through so uh, i think it's awesome that he he loves us that much that he will send a messenger so that he will get us the word one way or another. Oh, ah! That was my son. It's early here. I got to get to work. But as always, take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.